Okay. So coming to the case five, a ten-year-old boy uh, came to our clinic. Ten-year-old boy came to our clinic with eye strain and blurry vision after fifteen to twenty minutes of reading. So he is reading. Uh, after fifteen twenty minutes of reading, he is he is getting eye strain and blurred vision. His so uncorrected vision is both eyes six six, unaided six six, retinoscopy and acceptance also plus minus six by six means there is no refractive error. Okay, now let's when we are doing the near point of convergence test, both subjectively and objectively it is five centimeters. So five centimeters. So normal NPC what we expect is six to seven centimeters NPC is fine. Okay. So the cover test, when we are uh, doing the cover test, we can find that unaided cover test. And uh, the cover test means unaided cover test means the we are not putting any refractive correction or plus one. We are not doing that that cover test over there. So just without uh, glasses, the cover test what we are getting the ortho for distance, and near there is a ten prism base out. Ten prism base out means ten prism isophoria for near. Ten prism isophoria for near distance. It is completely ortho. Okay. Now the uh, basin for distance. It is basin for distance. It is x. There is no blur at distance. Uh, break at seven four is the recovery near the basin is x six and four. Base out for distance is twelve twenty four and fifteen. For base out for near it is. Fourteen thirty, fourteen thirty and eighteen. Okay, so now let's see the basin. Uh, let's see the basin value for distance. What should be the normal basin value for distance? So for a ten-year-old child, so basin value for uh, distance it is not given over here. Near it is twelve seven. Break should be at twelve and seven. Uh, so somewhere around eleven and seven should be the uh, sorry. Uh, seven and four should be the basin for distance value. You can uh, see that the basin for near, it is not proper for the child. Okay, distance it is x seven and four. That is quite normal basin for distance. But near you can see the child cannot, uh, like the it is only x six and four. Okay, whereas the base out. Okay, that is means the near the child's eyes are more converged basically. For distance, it is normal, quite okay, not very normal, but still, yes, the child can diverge at distance. But for near, it is the values are very less. That means the child converges too much at near. Okay, now coming to the because the negative fusional divergence that is very less at near. Okay. Now let's see the base out value for distance. It is twelve, twenty four, fifteen. Near it is fourteen, thirty, and eighteen. So it is quite high. The base out value for near should be around. Near it should be at base out for near should be twenty three break plus minus eight and sixteen. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit more you can see that right. Fourteen, thirty, and eighteen. Okay. Now let's uh, see the Vargens facility. Vargens facility with the twelve prism base out and three prism base in that that should be around fifteen cycles per minute. Okay, it should be around fifteen cycles per minute with the Vargens twelve prism base out and three prism base in. It should be around fifteen cycles per minute plus minus six, three. So it can be twelve also. It can be eighteen also. That is okay. So while seeing the Vargens facility for the child, you can see zero CPM. That means zero cycles per minute, and the patient has the basin prism. Okay, the patient cannot clear the basin. That means, uh, what do you think? What may be the problem for the patient? Basin is the negative fusional Vargens or the positive fusional Vargens? Yes. Yes. So basin means 
basin means the negative fusional margins for near it is very very less and the patient cannot diverge with the means the patient the negative fusional margins is almost very means it's very less so that's the reason in the virgin facility test it is zero cycles per minute and the patient is failing base basin okay okay now let me discuss the full case then we'll uh, discuss about the diagnosis okay so the ac by a ratio is 10 is to 1 10 is to 1 okay 10 is to 1 is a abnormally high ac by a ratio that means for one diopter of accommodation the accommodative convergence is 10 okay so the accommodative convergence is 10 10 diopters for one diopter accommodation the nre is normal you can see plus 2.50 that is quite normal so what should be the normative uh, pra uh, value for this patient normative pra value let's go back and see what should be the expected pra value if the basin for we compare it with the ac by ratio and basin for virgins at near basin virgins at near so if we compare with the basin virgins at near okay six it is uh, blur at break at six and four recovery at four basin virgins at near that means six and 10 or okay so somewhere around 1 1.5 so you can see the pr is much lesser expected pra value is much lesser okay that means the patient can relax accommodation but sorry uh, yes the patient uh, with the plus uh, plus value the patient relax negative relative accommodation okay but the patient cannot stimulate right also uh, nra and pra value does have a relationship with virgins yes or no we have discussed previously nra and pra value it has a relationship with the virgins okay so nra is a uh, nra means you are putting plus lenses right so what you are doing you are making the eyes to you are making the eyes to relax accommodation right okay so nra uh, so if your eyes are going out like this now to maintain binocular single vision your positive fusional virgins should act so that's why uh, nra is an indirect measure of your positive fusional virgins similarly pra is an indirect measure of your negative fusional virgins so you can see that the negative fusional virgins is very low the negative fusional virgins nfv is very low okay so three test we can find it out when we are doing the step virgins testing the basin for near is extremely low virgins facility it is zero cycles per minute the patient is failing basin also when we did the cover test cover test for near it is 10 prism isophoria okay 10 prism isophoria the patient is having okay pra is also comparatively less if we compare the ac by ratio and basin for near the pra is less okay so near point of accommodation amplitude of accommodation was 15 diopter it was okay quite okay uh, monocular accommodative facility was 12 cycles per minute accommodative facility was quite normal okay binocular accommodative facility if you are doing diplopia with minus 2 okay so if you are trying with the plus minus 2 uh, plus minus 2 flipper the patient will find diplopia so uh, let's see it simply you can see that the mf that is a monocular accommodative facility is quite good but binocular accommodative facility there is a diplopia okay there is a diplopia with the binocular accommodative facility also if you see the mem value that is a dynamic retinoscopy value it is plus 1.5 that is a higher lag of accommodation okay so what may be the problem is it a virgins problem or an accommodation problem what do you think accommodation ma'am accommodation problem no anyone else what may be the problem for the child 
is it a vergence problem or an accommodation problem ma'am it is the case of convergence axis so it is a vergence problem correct correct very correct you are very correct also you can see that the monocular accommodative facility is 12 cycles per minute but binocular accommodative facility it is the child is having a diplopia if you see the accommodation it is quite okay okay but there is a higher lack of accommodation also if you see this one okay npc is quite uh, like uh, more than normal okay also it's a high uh, ac by a ratio pra is very low basin for near it is very low there is zero cycles per minute with the virgin facility testing so it is a clear cut convergence excess any doubt why convergence excess there is 10 prism isophoria for near right 10 prism isophoria for distance it is ortho the child is uh, it is converging more at near that is the reason 10 prism isophoria at near okay basin for near distance both is less near it is more less virgin facility is zero ac by a ratio is high so for any excess case we get a higher ac by a ratio okay pr is abnormal and all these things but the accommodative parameters are quite normal so this is a clear cut case of convergence excess very good very good mode to see anyone uh, any uh, like doubt in understanding this case please do tell me all of you could uh, follow this case yes so always compare this values with the normative data okay sometimes we get a minus 6 uh, pr is around minus 5 minus 6 we get confused okay but do not get confused just compare with that uh, ac by ratio and basin for near and see whether it is uh, relevant or not that is the thing okay so that is a uh, thing so it is a clear cut case of convergence so what may be the what may be the treatment anyone please try what should we do first for the patient what do you think what should be the treatment for the patient yes anyone would like to try treatment for the patient anyone would like to try okay so if you for the treatment purpose we can give the plus lens therapy even we can give, start with the boxing and even we can uh, do with the uh, lights giver cards we can also use correct correct very good see here very good motoshi so here you can see the ac by ratio is 10 is to 1 so definitely you can start with the plus lens therapy that means ac by ratio 10 is to 1 means if you can push plus 1 to the patient it will resolve this 10 prism isophoria at near see the near isophoria is 10 prism 10 prism base out at near that means 10 prism isophoria patient is having so if you if you can give a plus 1 to the patient if you can push a plus 1 to the patient his problem will be solved his problem was blurry vision after 15 to 20 minutes of reading okay so definitely a plus lens therapy would work why because ac by a ratio is quite high okay ac by a ratio is quite high definitely the plus lens therapy would work for the patient but for plus lens therapy if you are pushing a plus 1 to the patient what will happen his distance isophoria will be zero but sorry the uh, near isophoria will be zero but distance distance there will be Uh, around 10 prism exophoria will be uh, almost double so we can see like we can do a cyclopegic refraction for the child we can if if it is possible we can give a plus 0.5 okay to use uh, use okay so we can see if the child is comfortable with plus 0.5 because plus 0.5 will also correct is 5 prism exophoria 
okay also plus lens therapy means with the plus lenses he would be given plus lenses and with the plus lenses he has to do the vision therapy now he is uh, having convergence excess that means he is over converging at near so we can start with the broxting therapy broxting exercise we can start with along with the plus lenses okay so slowly slowly we have to monitor we have to relax his excess convergence at near that means that what is the problem convergence excess means the uh, negative fusional convergence at near is very less that means he cannot he cannot relax his convergence at near that means when he is reading at near he cannot relax his convergence okay so for reading time you can give him a plus one glasses also okay so that will actually alleviate the situation for, but for distance the child will not be very happy with the glasses so distance he can go without glasses but for reading you can give uh, plus one glasses you can call the patient for follow up and see what the patient is how the patient is improving and all meanwhile meanwhile uh, he need to do the in office therapy also that is a broxing therapy he can do we can give it a life saver card exercise but life saver card exercise if you are giving we need to train the divergences because the patient cannot diverge that means the patient is over converging at near so we can uh, give the life saver card exercise at the on the that one uh, the previous class i have shown no that uh, transparent sheet that one we can give it to improve the divergence okay we can give the block string and we can give the life saver card is it clear to all of you any questions regarding this case any questions regarding this case 